my my thing when it comes and I, I and I want to temper what I say because I think New York Red Bull fans already believe that I hate them because I'm an NYCFC fan. But <laughs> because I do, was what just I don't hate with. them, right? I like when they lose. But that said, um, can you pull up their their the standings? Yeah. When I look at where they are, and I remember that era with Henri and and. You know, Luke Rogers, you James, know what I mean? Yeah. I remember that era. I remember Kenny they won Cooper. the Kenny Cooper. They won the supporter shield. Uh who was the Sam? Sam Lloyd. Lloyd Sam. Lloyd Sam. Yeah. yeah. Charlotte. He was the Charlotte announcer last year in Arizona yeah, Apple yeah, yeah. TV. Yeah. Shout he's, out Lloyd. Dude, Lloyd Sam, killing it. Loves is big he's a big fashion guy as well on the internet. Um on the internet. Remy's his agent. That's how I met him. But <laughs> on the internet, you know, on, he's a big yeah. <laughs> I'm my grandpa now. Yeah. Uh, on the Instagram, <laughs> when I look at where the New York Red Bulls were, and they were, you know, afraid. I got the sense that there was a bit of fear when NYCFC started that, like, they get all the big names, and of course they got, you know, some of the bigger names. But they were like competing with NYCFC. And while I don't think NYCFC is doing the greatest, I don't think that they're all their problems are solved. Although when they play in Queens, it looks like all their problems are solved. The, the, the stadium is packed. Everyone loves it. Um, and I can't wait for the stadium to open. But when I look over across the river at Red Bull, I see a club that there's like indifference of. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The fans aren't happy. We could talk about the, 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 the atrocious racism situation that happened. We could bring that up. Uh, I think for the most part, it's kind of figured out, right? He's, he's going to have an extended um leave i think six suspension, games yeah. suspension uh it looks like the fans are not happy about it shouts to esc viking army and i can't remember if there's another one uh, those were the main two i believe huh and were garden those the main City. two garden City? was it is yeah. it tricordia or something like that isn't there like there's another one but they staged uh was, was it 101 the south ward mm -hmm. staged a walkout i'm really upset that security let other people move into that sand that's that's bs but um, shouts to those fans uh, for, for standing up for the right things, which I absolutely um, approve of. And I think every NYCFC fan should back and a Red Bull fan that did that. That said, when I look at where the club is, it takes me back to that town hall. And it takes me back to um, Louis Robles having to sit there and withstand this barrage, you know. And that moment feels like it got pushed, it got swept under the rug. And now here we are where undoubtedly one of the top three new kits of the season, right? They, I can't remember the, the designer. Um, Zachary Johnson paid $2 for me to say this. Not every team can have a Tim uh, Bezbachenko. Nailed it. Of course. I felt the pause. I got a little nervous for yeah, you. You know what it is? And <laughs> then you hit it out the park. A lot more consonants than I expected. <laughs> uh, um, Bez would appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you should go Bezbachenko because remember, it's cool again. Um, <laughs> But I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna have no idea what it means. When he goes to Blangola, <laughs> yeah. he'll get it. Uh, but when I when I look at where the rebel are now, it, it almost feels like everyone's kind of okay that it's not going well. And okay. I, you know, the, everyone talks about like, oh, you know, City Football Group owns Manchester. Bro, you're owned by a major drink corporation that's yeah, got people same. hopping off bikes and yeah. you know doing all crazy stuff, jumping. So a guy jumped from outer space <laughs> yeah. into back into our orbit. All right, come on now, y'all got money. Yeah, you know, uh, that, <laughs> stop it. Why? Why is there this indifference? Can is, is there is it something that I'm just noticing for myself? Is it, have you seen it? Is there a way where on the field they can fix this? So it's funny that you bring up the town hall. I hadn't thought about that in a while because that ended Are up. Are you impressed I pulled that up? Super impressed. Good, you should be. Yeah. I'm impressed I yeah. pulled that up. Because that led to probably their greatest era of success, right? Why? Because Jesse Marsh took over and Ali Curtis took over with a plan and not just. But there was a sense that like we need a plan because it felt like there wasn't one before. They're like, we'll get Rafa well, Marquez. It's, well, because it's the same thing we just talked about with the Galaxy. Yeah. Right? This is the same moment. Henri said, I want to go to New York. They didn't say, he didn't say, like, I want to play for the Red Bull. No. Yeah. And then at that moment, like, I think when the town hall happened, the Galaxy had just two years earlier won their last MLS Cup that they won. And then the next year, they went to the Western Conference Finals or won it, whatever. Um, from that moment on, the Galaxy have not changed. The Red Bulls changed. They built an academy. 
They built a youth initiative. They put in a style. They focus on their style rather than on names. Right. And, and they Ralph, Ralph Ranyak Ball went yeah. all the way down, which I, I also agree with. And they proceeded to have the most their most successful error in MLS. They won two supporter shields. Mm -hmm. They went to an Open Cup final. They went to a couple Eastern Conference finals. Um, they now currently are tied for the longest playoff streak in MLS. Mm -hmm. And Sa Seattle didn't get in last year. So if the Red Bulls get in this year. How they, many trophies they got for that? Well, they got two supporter shields. Those are, those are, that's silverware. That's not a trophy. Oh, <laughs> it's not. And the only reason I say that is because the uh, only reason you can't drink out of a supporter shield, can you? Uh, only the one that oh, Philly won. Oh, because you don't want to eat off a, a beautiful silver plate? You think I've not eaten off a cup, out of a cup, bro? <laughs> we stay with them red plastic cups in my Hello, house. Tay. But the, <laughs> yo, what, it's key days, bro. It's key Shout days. Out, come on now. Right? And we hate LA. Look at all the references we just pulled. Up. Um, the reason I bring that up, it's, it's not me yeah, joking yeah. about them. It's the fan base kind of has the right but to say that like the, enough is enough. But I don't think the fan, from my experience, I don't think the fan base was actually upset throughout that run. They were a good team. No, no, no. During they that run, they were yeah. I think now there's like, when you look back, we won two supporter shields. Is that real? You you were trying to win an MLS yes. Cup. And, and now it now that they have their system in place where they bring through good academy players, they have a style that they lean on, which helps them win. The question has always been, okay, can you, can Red Bull and Red Bull Global jumping out of aircrafts and all right, this right, stuff, right. can they add the extra 10% on top? So instead of being like, oh, this player is better than what we spent on him, can we just spend some money on a star striker mm -hmm. so that all of the pieces we have are enough to win MLS Cup, to right. get us over the top? And it's not just a striker. There's other stuff in there. And but they've like, done this. Erling Holland was a, ra uh, a Red Bull Salzburg no, player. I was like, Erling Holland came to MLS. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, look, hey, he should have been a, a little loan in the summer. But you know? Erling Holland was brought in to. But no, I, I think even with Leipzig, they haven't really done this. Right? With Leipzig, they're so committed to the youth and selling and all those things right. that they've been on the verge of Bundesliga titles. And then they have sold their best player to Bayern. Right? right. Yes, because that is a part of their system. So that is like the ethos. And right. then if you take the ethos and you add a couple hundred thousand miles, hundred is probably a wrong number, but to go from Germany to Buddy, New York. I'm not going to correct yeah. you. <laughs> uh, I think you then, like, it gets a little watered down. And this is sort of maybe the ceiling of, like, what it's capable of if this is how Red Bull are going to run this club, which is sort of from afar – and involved in the parts they want to be, which is the young players that they can then bring to Europe, like Tyler Adams and like Caden Clark. But they don't really seem to think that winning MLS Cup is the number one focus.